Hello and welcome to highlights of stage two of It's Sulia Women. The next stop on the Women's World Tour for 2022. Three days in total. 117.9 kilometres awaited the riders and what a brute it was. Kicking off with the five category three Queen of the Mountains points through the finish line at Moabia for the first time. An intermediate sprint there with 38.1 to go before heading up the Catabieta category one climb. A sprint at the bottom of the Ibar and an uphill run towards the line. As they headed towards the final climb of the day, breakaway group Shayla Gutierrez, Shirin Van Anroy, Marta Jaskulska, Anastasia Carbonari. Nadia Qualiota, Tatiana Goderza and Yulia Biryokova. Biryokova, though, was the highest place rider in the general classification. And at 57 seconds, Canyon Shram and SD Works were not keen to let the breakaway go. They were swept up on the lower slopes of the Cat 1 climb, with Ashley Mormon Passio of SD Works right to the front to set the pace for leader Davey Vollering. 6.7 kilometers in length, averaging 5.6% and maxing out at 15%. It would be Damie Vollering in the yellow jersey with 6.2 kilometres to go to the top of the climb that started to look to thin out that peloton. This would be the first of many attacks by Vollering on the run towards the finish. Nadine Gill of the Basque team Sapello having a great race so far was quickly onto the wheel of Vollering while behind riders such as Evita Muzik were losing contact. Lucinda Brand of Trek Sega Fredo had gone into the day in fourth overall at 50 seconds to Damie Vollering. She would have to limit her losses on the climb and use her descending skills to try and get back into the group. Marta Cavalli, the Italian of FDJ Nouvelle Aquitaine Futuroscope, she would attack and thin out the front group further. Vollering, though, very attentive to any attack going clear. One rider who's riding out of her skin here in Spain in the last few weeks is Olivia Barriel in the pink of Valcar Travel and Service. Canada has another superstar in her. Quickly onto the group, though, phenomenal climber Paulina Royakas and Juliette Labousse, the French rider from Team DSM. On the descent, though, Paulina Royakas was starting to lose contact with the group. Luckily for her, though, she was close to the bottom of the descent and she would manage to make it back in. Behind, the group was swelling in numbers yet again with Lucinda Brand using that descending prowess to her advantage to get back into the mix. The road started to climb up towards the finish. Roy Ackers was looking to go one better than the previous day, but she would have to go long in the sprint if she wanted to take the stage. Behind in the group, Veronica Ewers of EF Education was doing a phenomenal job to try and get the group back in. They wouldn't make contact and through the technical run up towards the finish in almost a carbon copy of stage one, Vollering launched her move towards the line. Barrel and Cavalli trying to get on terms, but two days and it would be two victories and extending her lead in the general classification. Another phenomenal stage win for Team SD Works, Davey Vollering. Olivia Barrel, phenomenal performance in the World Tour for the Canadian rider in second, while the best young rider overall, Nee Fisher Black, would lead in the group just behind. Elise Shabby of Canyon Shram crossing the line. She would take the lead in the Queen of the Mountains classification. But it seems at the moment, in stage race season, Damie Vollering can do no wrong. There's your top 10. So Demi Vollering from Olivia Barrel, Marta Cavalli, Paulina Royakas and Juliet Labousse. While your bunch sprint, Fisher Black, Shabe, Mackay, Mormon Passio and Faulkner, your top 10. The famous Basque hat for Demi Vollering with one day to go. We start and finish in Donostia. The general classification looks like this with one day to go. 22 seconds separating Demi Vollering and Paulina Royakas. Kristen Faulkner still at 42. Cavalli up to fourth. Barrel in fifth. What a day we have to come on the final day, the longest stage of the race so far, starting and finishing in Donostia. It is a carbon copy of the Donostia Classic with the Jazz Kibel and the Mergelton Tora to come.